Welcome viewers, this is the Dead Man's Hand 420 here, MLB 18 the show. We have uh, new career arcs, new content available. This is going to be uh, my first look at it. I'm going to do just a short video of, of what I of uh, all the requirements to get those and what I think about them. Uh, we will take a look at the uh, stats of the cards as well. So we're going to go right in here to Diamond Dynasty. And I don't know. If... No, that's from last week, I believe, that roster update. As you can see, career arcs, play missions to earn legends and flashbacks. So we're going to go to programs here and look at these. I believe these are all the old ones here. So we're going to start with, I believe they call it the handlebar mustache. Oh, no, it's not curled. Eh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, Rolly fingers. Redeem now. We get his rookie card, 68 overall. Uh, looks like we get a couple standard packs. He has an 80 gold all-star card. Decent stats. Uh, obviously, a reliever with a 32 stamina. Closing pitcher, actually. I'm sorry about that. Um, not too bad. 83 break, 88 clutch, 86 home runs per nine. This is actually a very nice card. Uh, 70 velocity, not too great. Um, but that means you'll just be pitching to contact with him. Performs better when there are runners on base. Excels at limiting home runs. And throws extremely effective sinking ball. Uh, sinker is always nice to use. I like using the sinker. Uh, I tend to find out that it does kind of get hit out more uh, than mo most other pitches I use, but it's very effective most of the time. 2 souvenir packs. Ooh, three Padres jerseys. Wow. And here's his 89 overall card. 101 Ks per nine. See, this one's a little bit more... I want to stay. I want to say strike him out. You got 91 break, 90 control. Uh, that's great right there. Just to have that break and the control over 90, and then the hits, uh, 92 hits per nine. Uh, wow, 97 clutch. This is a great card. And look at that. Look at that. Wow, this is a great card. I don't even want to. Oh, that is his, uh, so that's actually his career art card right there. What a great card. Uh, I'm going to try and get him. He's definitely going to be my closer. So Rob Nen, uh, 54 overall rookie card. That's probably one, probably the lowest rookie card, actually. Silver breakout card. 92 diamond impact veteran. Legend, Rob Nen. Another closing pitcher, and look at those stats. That's uh, better than Roley, actually, over there. Look at that 98 break, 97 velocity, 122 clutch, 113 Ks per nine, 110 hits per nine. Uh, this is a great card, but it does seem like his control is a little bit off, um, and he probably gives up a decent amount of home runs, so... It's one of those cards where he's going to do well a lot of the time, but, you know, I think a lot of time in those moments, he's going to give up that homer where you, where you really didn't need it at that time. Performs better when runners are on base. Excels at limiting base hits. Excels at striking hitters out. Throws an extremely effective fastball. Throws an extremely effective breaking ball. And throws an extremely effective split-fingered fastball. So... Wow, all of his actual pitches seem like they're real good. Um, and look at the speed on that. 99 for his fastball, 92 for a slider, 91 for a splitter, 83 for a curveball. The slider at 92, ouch. I wouldn't want to be on the other side of that. Even the splitter at 91, that, that's a good average splitter right there. So so not bad. Um 
he actually has better stats. Well, I don't know, Rolly Fingers, I think he had better, uh, a better home run, home runs per nine, and he had better control. Uh, but everything else was lower. So really, that it's it's how you play for that. Um, I'd probably still go with the Raleigh fingers. Uh, I like the control, and he had a decent velocity or er, break. I'm sorry. Um, so I'd probably still go with Raleigh there. And of course, CC Sabathia. I am not a Yankees fan at all. Really don't like him too much. But uh, this guy pretty much, I'm sure, has everybody's respect. Uh, so, wow. Just the middle card you get from is an 86 diamond. Look at that, 105 clutch for a starter. 99 stamina. 93 velocity. 93 break. 80 control, which is okay. Um, everything else is under the 80, uh, except for hits per nine. So I am a little, uh, actually a little bit worried about that part of it. Um, but he sees he, it seems he can go deep in games. Let's check out. Uh, performance better when runners are in base. Pitches deep into games by losing energy at a low rate. Excels at limiting base hits. Excels at limiting home runs. Throws an extre extremely effective sinking fastball. Throws an extremely effective changeup. So... Uh, his sinker and his changeup are real good. 94 mile per hour sinker. Damn. Damn. And then a 78 mile per hour curveball. That's that's really slow. So that I actually like that. Um, really throws batters off. Uh, but he does have an 87 mile per hour changeup, which is weird because his fastball is only at 95. So there's not a big gap there. Um. Seems like a decent card. Um, impact veteran flashback. Oh, wow. 107 stamina. 90 Ks per 9. 91 clutch. 90 velocity. 95 break. Um, everything else, mostly above 80 for the most part. Uh, 78 hits per 9. Um, so he'll give up a decent amount of hits, it looks like. Excels at striking hairs out. Excels at limiting walks. Excels at limiting home runs. And then the uh, same one says his other card. So that, that's not a bad card, especially because uh, he excels at limiting home runs. So, and striking hitters out. So that could be a very dominant card at a 92 overall. It's actually a uh, Brewers uh, team. Milwaukee Brewers, not the Yankees. So... That's interesting. Fergie Jenkins, huh? Another Cubby. Gotta love it. Uh, anybody who follows me, they know I'm a big Cubs fan. So I'm, I'm probably definitely going to go after this guy. Um, even his 83 impact legend is decent. Only 52 velocity. Uh, so he's definitely going to be pitching to contact there. 103 stamina so he can go forever. Um... For me, this isn't a, a good card that I would use. Uh, I mean, I might use them from time to time if I need a impact legend stats or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, but that's not probably a card I would just keep in my lineup. Um, all the stats are kind of low, to be honest. Uh, 84 control, 82 break, not bad. Uh, pitches deep in the games and excels at limiting walks, not not an overpowering card. It's it's a decent card. But now, his 92 hardware legend card. 115 stamina. I don't think you really need 115 stamina, but it is what it is. Uh, 97 balls per bases on balls for 9 innings. 89 clutch, 91 control, 92 break, uh 83 Ks per 9. Again, not not a very dominant card. Uh Excels at striking hitters out, excels at limiting walks, throws an extremely effective sinking fastball, throws an extremely effective breaking ball, throws an extremely effective split-fingered fastball. So it seems like most of his pitches are good. 
Um, we'll have to try that card out. Um, again, doesn't look all that dominating from the stats, but he has all these quirks that make his pitches good. So we'll check him out eventually. Uh, 78 mile per hour fork ball. I'm not too excited about that. Usually I like it to be you know, around 82, maybe 83, maybe a little bit faster. Uh, it's good to see another cubby though. And that actually might be an easy arc to uh, complete for me. And you know what? All these stats, they, okay, that one 500, yeah, 40 wins, and then 500 Ks, 10 complete games. And now they uh, they uh, give you the option to exchange team souvenirs, so it's not only gonna be gonna be limited to hats or jerseys. Um, I wonder if you can, yeah, you can use autographed baseballs. Uh, so th this is real good. It's only five thousand. That's not too bad. It could be a lot worse. And you have uh, the Cubs, Red Sox, and Rangers. Quickly look at the Honestly, I think the hardest part with his immortals are going to be the silver, bronze, or common um, challenges. It won't be too hard because, like, a lot of the impact veteran cards are silvers, and they're actually real good, uh, at least for me when I use them. I don't know about you guys, um, but they they play like golds or even diamonds for me. Um, of course, they have a few weak spots, but what card doesn't? Um Check out Raleigh. Yeah, see, these aren't too bad. This is basically, you just need to play a lot of games and you can get these. Uh, I've seen a lot of people complaining, uh, like, on Facebook. Uh, I'm in a few groups and they're just, oh, you know, we got to pay for all the career new career arcs. And no, you don't. You just got to grind it out and play the game. Uh, kind of like any other, um, I mean, I'll stick with sport games like NHL men. You got to stick with it. You got to grind to have that good team that, you know, they're not just going to make it easy or everybody would have it. And Mike Schmidt, this is the first one I'm going for. I believe it is, uh, I'm going to just double check. I think it's for the Chipper Jones Immortal. And it is Mike Schmidt. And that's who I'm going for, my first immortal, Chipper Jones. Honestly, one of the greatest hitters in baseball history, especially over the last two decades. Uh, switch hitter, uh, power, contact, even decent speed. Um, there's nothing bad about Chipper, man. He barely strikes out as well. So we're going to go back to Mike Schmidt. Yeah, so, see, these aren't going to be too hard. Um, I mean, I will say this. You're probably going to need 150 games. Because, I mean, unless you f just fill up your uh, lineup with third baseman. Uh, but then the silver, bronze, and commons, too. Uh, it... it you know, it's grinding, but not a lot. Not not as bad as I thought it was going to be. 
and I can't wait to get Schmidt done. Uh, I really want that chipper card. And of course, Barry Larkin, again, one of the most more better hitters of uh, in MLB history. Oh, we'll check out his 89 overall. He even has a 92 after that. And this is a... Oh, wow. So so the stat I'm looking at right off the bat is going to be the 120 vision and the 110 contact versus lefties. Um, if he's facing a lefty, he's going to get a hit. Uh, wow. This card is amazing. Uh, not much power, but he really wasn't known for his power. He's known for contact hitting. And he also has 86 speed over there. So he has very good speed, very good contact, 90 clutch as well. Uh, what a great card. Rarely misses the ball when swinging. Has elite running speed. Excels at stealing bases. Performs better when there are runners on base. And he also excels at sacrifice bunting and drag bunting. So uh, this would be a phenomenal leadoff hitter for anybody's team. Um, I'm surprised a lot of people aren't talking about this guy. And now I want to check out his 92. Wow. Uh, okay, so he doesn't have that 120 vision, but 97 vision is more than okay. Power versus lefties, 89. Contact versus righties, 98. So he's good versus righties and lefties. And he has 97 vision, 96 clutch people. 83 speed, 98 stealing. Excels at getting base hits. Where and Sniper has an extremely accurate throwing arm. Um... And I think he plays short, yeah. So you kind of want that at short. Uh, I believe shortstop gets like most of the plays. Um, wow. I can't believe a lot of people aren't talking about Barry Larkin here. Um, I may possibly go for him. These stats are amazing. I don't understand how anybody could do bad with this card. Of course, uh, different people are good with different cards. Uh I got that, uh, what is it, the 87 Luis Gonzalez on complete trash with him. He's batting 180, like two home runs and 60 at bats. Uh, but I do well with, you know, I'm doing well with, with silver players, higher rated silver players, 78, 79. I'm doing better with them than I am with Luis Gonzalez. So it's different for everybody. Zach Grinky. Oh boy. Oh boy. So it's 81 impact veteran. You know what? This isn't bad for an 81. Uh, 88 clutch, 80 break, 91 stamina. Everything else in the 70s. Let's check his quirks. He can feel the ball cleanly. Performs better when there are runners on base. Excels at limiting home runs. Throws an extremely effective changeup. So not a bad card, especially with it being an 81. Not bad at all. But... Got to check out that 89 overall, Zach Greinke. Oh, look at this. Okay, 90 clutch, 92 break, 87K per nine, 98 stamina. Everything else is high 70s, uh, 80 velocity even. Uh, this is a real good all-around card right here. And I want to check his quirks. Again, soft hands, uh, pressure cooker, workhorse, untouchable. He can strike out hitters. Grounded, excels at limiting home runs, and this one throws an extremely effective sinking fastball, throws an extremely effective ranking ball, so, wow. Sinking fastball, he doesn't have one of those as his pitches. Uh, maybe that's a two-seamer? Uh, that's a good all-around card, though. Um, not really great in any category unless you want to count stamina. Um, good all-around card right there. I don't know if it's going to be worth the grind. Um, could be. You never know. 
Okay, Duke Schneider. I've actually uh, unfortunately never heard of this guy. Please, guys, don't hate me if you are Dodgers fans. I just plain have not heard of this guy, but we'll check out his 83 breakout card. Uh, not too great anywhere, to be honest. Uh, contact versus righty 89, clutch 83, durability 84. Uh, nothing that pops out at me here, and no quirks. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to try this card out. He's at an 83, so I don't know why he would be there, but we'll check him out. Maybe if I get a chance. Wow. Uh, so one of the more higher rated cards that I've seen for the arcs, 94 overall, postseason legend. And that's why, dude. 113 clutch, 114 discipline, 105 contact versus righty. 91 contact versus righty, 95 contact versus lefty, and then the 84 power versus lefty. Uh, wow. Dominating. Uh, this, that's a good card. Um, honestly, that clutch, uh, I think this guy would be... I know it would be kind of a waste, but I think he would be great like on the bench, like bring as, as a pinch hitter late when you got runners on, need to get some people in. Um, but he wouldn't be bad as a starter with those batting stats. Um, his fielding isn't all too great, but it's not horrible. And I want to check his quirks. Hitting machine excels at getting base hits. Bomber excels at hitting home runs. you got to love that. Walker excels at drawing walks and check swinging. I love that. Performs better when there are runners on base and avoids injuries and recovers energy at a high rate. This is an amazing card. Um, wow. Duke Schneider. Who are you going to need him for, Babe Ruth? Probably Jackie. Or... No? Griffey? It is Griffey. And he's my second... Um, Immortal that I want to get. Ouch. But I, I am close to getting that Doby souvenir, so. Going after Duke Schneider next, I guess. Oh. And of course, Frank Thomas, we're going to grab his rookie card, 76 overall. Oh, wow. 125 discipline, 112 contact versus lefty, 88 power versus lefty. Oh my god, 94 clutch. This is an insane 76 overall rookie card. Um, wow. It sucks that he's at first base. I already have Vado and Rizzo. I would have to bench one of them to put him in. Um... Honestly, though, I think he would be better, like, as a pinch hitter, though. Um, especially versus a lefty. Wow. Wow. That's an amazing rookie card right there. So let's check out his 84 gold, then. 105 discipline. 96 power versus lefty. 89 power versus righty. Again, a good batting card. Um... Unfortunately, his fielding and his speed is just, eek. I shouldn't even have mentioned it. But all the other, uh, the Bannock st stats speak for themselves. Uh, unfortunately for me, he would be probably like a pinch hitter, if that, um, if I chose to go after him. Wow. Um, this one's probably going to be the highest rated career arc right here. 97 diamond. Hardware legend Frank Thomas. 125 discipline. 118 power versus lefty. 125 contact versus lefty. 99 contact, contact versus righty. 95 power versus righty. 83 vision, which is good. 99 durability. Again, the rest of his stats, fielding and speed, don't really need him. But wow, what a batting card. Um... Honestly, if I face this guy in rank seasons, I'm walking him. Uh, unless there's nobody on. Then I, you know, if it's 
I could probably risk risk it if possible. Hitting machines excels at getting base hits. Bomber excels at hitting home runs, of course, and excels at drawing walks and checking swings and avoids injuries and recovers energy at a high rate. What a card. Wow. I the only thing I would change here if it was if I wanted to change stats, not uh based off real life, but I would change the discipline with the vision. I would love to have 125 vision with all that. But wow. Johnny Bench. One of the greatest catchers of all time. All right, this is 83 overall gold. Uh, really nothing here worth mentioning. Uh, he's a great fielding catcher. Uh, that's one of the best fielding stats I've seen for a catcher. 87 fielding, 89 arm strength, 80 arm accuracy, 74 reaction, 84 blocking. He would be good to put in late. With like a uh, maybe like a crazy cold, you know closer reliever who doesn't have really good control, make sure there's no wild pitches or anything. Ooh, a 95 breakout legend Johnny Bench. Wow. 123 power versus lefties, 99 contact versus lefties, 80 power versus righties, 74 power uh, contact versus right. I'm sorry, is 74. Uh, 93 clutch. Awesome. And look at those fielding stats. 92 fielding, 92 arm strength, 83 arm accuracy, 77 reaction, 89 blocking. Wow. And look, okay, so his primary, primary position is catcher, but look at those secondary positions. First base, third base, and the entire outfield. Even if you put this guy in the outfield, he could, he could throw somebody out. Uh, this is a great player to have on your team. Because he can play anywhere. Almost. Johnny Bench, wow. And Roberto Alomar. We're going to check his rookie legend. 81 overall. 99 bunt, 99 drag bunt. 83 vision. Uh, 87 speed. So, this rookie card doesn't impress me. Uh... at all. Um, I'd probably use this one as like a pinch runner <laughs> if I had to use them. But let's check out the real card. Postseason legend Roberto Alomar. So 111 clutch, 97 vision, 118 contact versus righty. Uh, 92 fielding and 85 speed. This is a, a good card. Um... Again, I would probably, since he can only play second, I might start him if I could right now because I don't really have a, a all that great second baseman. Um, but if I had a real good roster, I believe this guy would probably be on my bench. Um, I don't know, though, with that 97 speed. He might be my leadoff hitter. There's a chance. That's That's a real good card. And now the final one, Albert Bell. We're going to grab a 71 overall rookie card. Check the stats out real quick. Uh, nothing great here. Nothing worth mentioning at all. Um, Let's move on to his impact veteran legend. Okay, 105 contact versus lefty, 90 power versus lefty, 90 vision. So I'm liking that. Um... I dislike that he is only left fielder, right fielder, because I have Jim Edmonds and Ken Griffey Jr. doing the work there for now. Um, rarely misses the ball when swinging. At least he's got that going. It looks like he won't strike out a lot, especially with the 90 vision. Then we'll check out the 93 overall all-star legend Albert Bell. Uh, wow. 96 contact versus righty, 81 contact versus lefty, 116 power versus righty, 79 power versus lefty, 84 vision, and 79 clutch. Uh, this isn't a bad card, 
obviously with 116 power versus righty, and then his batting stats are real good. Uh, but they're not super great. Um, I'm trying to find out, like, try to look at other stats to try and defend him a little bit better. Um, it's not a bad card. He's kind of like average all around, a little bit better on the hitting, uh, especially versus righties, which is more common than uh, lefties. Uh, but not a bad card. Uh, only a bronze fielding rating. So, again, might be a guy you just bring in late. Um, and then you could probably maybe keep him in if he gets a hit or, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, hitting machine excels at getting base hits. Bomber excels at hitting home runs. And Walker excels at drawing walks and checking swings. So, all those are, are real nice to have, of course. And, uh... I believe that's all. There's no new uh, Immortals, which I don't think there are going to be. Uh, but I want to thank you guys for watching. I want uh, comments on, on what career arc you're going to go for. Um, and, like, maybe what cards you prefer over others. Like, uh, you know, like Nen or Fingers. Um, you know. Granky or Sabathia, you know. Um... I think my favorite card that I saw throughout there, uh, it might be the Snyder card. Uh, oh, let me grab his Impact Veteran 72 overall. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the card for me. I believe that that is the best card uh, overall. Um, of course, Frank Thomas with that insane hitting, but he has horrible fielding and speed. So the, I think the best overall like spread out is this card right here. So again, uh, just comment uh, who you guys are going to get. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, of course, if you aren't subscribed. Throw a like out there uh, so this card can get bumped up in the feed. And uh, let me know if you guys want new content videos like this one. So I'll be more than happy to do some. All right, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.